Hey guys, how's it going? It is me back again today on our wild, wild whiskey adventure. We're still trying new things every day. We're opening new bottles every day. That's just what we do. Because when we drink, we make videos. Because when we make videos, we drink. Because we like to drink. I got it right that time. Yeah, day. Oh, yeah. But anyway, uh, today, again, Cody, man. Wow. Cody has blessed us with two new more bottles. They're all on the shelf over here. Look at this, guys. Look how big this collection is getting already. I got to find more room. I got to come up with new ideas the way I can hold all this whiskey. So I'm going to be working on that soon, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with all my extra whiskeys or where I'm going to start putting them because my shelf is getting very, very full, very fast. Today is one that Cody bought. Uh, he bought two new bottles. I'm going to do one today and one tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a more of an earlier video because I open, I don't close like I did today. So, what it is, is something I haven't tried, and it's something he hasn't tried, but he's been wanting to try. It is another one of the Canadian whiskeys. Yes, it is a Canadian blended whiskey here, cut with the finest glacier-fed spring water from Oregon's highest peak, Mount Hood. It is an 80 proof, 40% alcohol. It's a 750 milliliter bottle. On the back, it says, True Western Tradition. Made for the rodeo using time-honored methods of oak barrel aging for a rich, complex flavor and uncommonly smooth finish. Bottled by Hood River Distilleries, Hood River, Oregon, product of Canada. So I think from what he said is like a, it's imported from Canada and then come down here and then it's distilled in Oregon and then shipped and made. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, and that's pretty much all it says. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the bottle. Because I know y'all are interested in that as much as I am. This is actually probably, out of all the bottles that I have, this is probably going to be my, one of my favorite looking bottles that I have. Uh, just because of the way it's shaped and it's difference. So, here it is guys. Without further ado, we're going to be doing Pendleton today. Pendleton Canadian Whiskey. There you go guys. Get a little bit off the glare there. And then on the back here, this is the other sticker label. <laughs> And then the cap here. Not sure how that is or how we're going to get that off. Oh, I see how. But, um, again, guys, like I said, ain't been opened yet. Ain't nobody drank this. And nobody tried it. We're opening it for the first time with you guys. Because I got to get better at it. I mean, I drink all my drinks, but I got to wait make them open for you guys. You got to watch me open them. So, because if not, it's not a true reaction, right? It's got to be a reaction video if you never reacted to it. But... Here we go, guys. We're going to open the seal up. If you can see it, there is a little tab right there. Yep, focus. Mind my dirty nails. I work on cars all day. Okay. We're going to open this up. Ooh. That is satisfying to hear. All right, so. Okay. It's, it's a cork. So this is actually a pretty cool cork. It actually has the design from the front of the label, and I got something in my eyeball. So you see the, the uh, horse right here? It looks like a rodeo cowboy on a horse. Well, if I get it right, there's one right there on the cap. I think that is actually pretty unique and pretty cool that they went that far into the descriptive description of their bottles. So we're going to go ahead and... Yeah. I have an obsession with quartz. Leave me alone. I smell them. I like them. So right off the bat, you got a very heavy vanilla. I definitely get a whole lot of vanilla from this. Some oakiness. There's definitely some oakiness in there. Vanilla and oakiness. But I'm not getting like a usual cherry or anything like that. It's just getting like the heavy vanilla and heavy oak. So, curious, just as you guys are, to see how it tastes. So let's pour us a glass, and we're going to drink it. And uh, today's not going to be a heftier one. i got to open in the morning, so not going to get too crazy. Um, but again, guys, it's America. America here, America here, America on the hat, and America on the arm. Because you got to America. Did you America today? Because if not, go pour you a glass of whiskey. And America today. Because that's what we do. We America every day. All right? That's what we do. It's, it's the way of life. Got to let them know who we are. Hey, like 
we said yesterday. All right, this ain't wine. Don't sip it. Make it bubble when you hit it. All the bubble. It tastes, uh, smells a little bit different now. It's got a stronger, you can get this stronger, like, uh, I don't know what the word for it would be, but the whiskey smell to it. It's got the stronger accented oak when it comes out the bottle compared to what I got inside of the bottle. All right, so, cheers, and uh, we're going to drink it up, because <laughs> i got to drink my Miller Lite, too. I mean, <laughs> we ain't slacking. We are not slacking. Oh, wow. That is so smooth. Kind of got like a, um, like a spice rum taste to it to me. It's got that little uh, spicy aroma to it. It's not a burn. It's more of a spice. This is like I, I keep saying spice, spice, spice. But it's what I'm getting. Um, definitely that vanilla. A little more cherry on the taste, but I'll, I still get a lot of vanilla in there. Um, other than that, the oakiness really isn't part of the taste. Unless, well, you're, obviously you're going to have the oak taste because your spice is going to come from the barrel. The spice is going to come from whatever they're putting into their uh, distilled process. But guys, this is freaking amazing. And so... He has money that he likes to help me out with, with my videos and stuff like that. Because he likes to try them just as much. As I, he has tried every single one of these just as much as I have. I've tried to get him on the channel, guys. I have. I promise. He'll get on here one day, but he's camera shy right now. We'll get him on here one day. He supported this a lot. I do thank him so much. Uh, he gave me the receipt today so I can tell you guys how much this actually was. And the Pendleton is, this bottle is like 25 dollar bottle of uh, Canadian whiskey and it tastes phenomenal it has a very subtle taste the burn is very minimal uh, like I said you got this the spice is what the burn is it's so smooth the aftertaste is just as good as the actual original taste there's not one flaw that I have towards this whiskey not one at all again guys these Canadian guys have done it again R and R. <laughs> now we've done the Pendleton, guys. I don't don't sleep on this stuff. This stuff is great. Go get you a bottle. Keep it on your shelf. Again, for twenty five dollars, I would. De I'm definitely gonna keep something like this on my shelf. I say that about a lot of bottles, but I I I love to taste different things. I love to drink them. I'm. Mean, it's just how I am. I just like it. Like some people like doing and collecting things. I like collecting and drinking whiskey. That's just my thing. Don't knock it till you try it. But we're going to go ahead and finish this up because, guys, we don't waste whiskey. That's a sin. It's just a sin. You can't do it. It's, it's against the law. And we made it the law. Because you fought the law and the, the law won. That's what they did. Ah, that is very good. You can tell the way difference in my face. Um... Compared to the one we did yesterday. Yesterday was rough, guys. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Go watch it. It's very funny. But it's it was a rough one yesterday. Today's was great. The Pendleton, guys. Again, I'll show you the bottle. Pop the cork back in it. Again, here it is. That's the bottle. Go get you some. Get you some. But Canadian whiskey, guys. I'm telling you, that's where it's at right now. So far, all of all the ones I've tasted, these Canadian whiskeys are pretty top-notch each time. But remember, guys, this is Justin's channel. This is your channel. Let me know what you want to see me drink. I buy it so you don't have to, and I try it so you don't have to. And apparently, Cody buys it, so I don't have to. But, guys, y'all are amazing. Like, comment, and subscribe so I know you guys are loving it as much as I do. And let me know what you want me to drink. Um, hit that notification bell and let you know every single time my beautiful sexy face goes live to drink another fine bottle of whiskey and maybe i'm working on a car someday you never know you never know what you're gonna get when i post videos here recently or a lot it's been a lot of whiskeys but it's a whiskey channel that's what you're gonna get but you might get guns you might get whiskey you might get cars welcome to the south man 
Y'all have a wonderful night, and I will see you beautiful, beautiful people tomorrow.